So, hey, what's up? I'm John. I want to meet you. What's your name? What are you up to right now? That's always the next question I ask in daytime game. And the reason for that is you want to determine her logistical situation so that you know what you're dealing with. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to talk about the pros and the cons of daytime game. So there's a lot of differences between day game and night game. I'm going to explore uh, what those are and then how you should weight each thing and, and consider how much time to devote towards each one. Before we continue, if you're not yet a subscriber, this channel gives you the most optimized, efficient, and effective dating advice on the planet. It's all straightforward and practical. There's no BS fluff or woohoo like most of the other channels okay if you're not a subscriber please subscribe below press notification bell for alerts of new videos every single day and if you want to take your game to a maxed out skill level very very quickly in less than two months i have an eight-week mentorship program it's turning out guys that are this is the best program in the, in the industry hands down all the results point to that uh, most guys are getting one to two new lays per week and putting about one new rotation girl on per week Okay, so do not hesitate, jump on a free 30 minute call where I'll go over all the details of that and talk about how we'll get you there to a very advanced level of extreme skill very quickly, regardless of your skill level or current amount of weaknesses, okay, or experience in the game. So uh, with day game, during the daytime, one of the biggest differences is the girl is going to be lots of times busy, okay, meaning on her way to do something or on her way back from doing something during the daytime. So you're going to want to figure out what that situation is. You're gonna to want to determine her logistical situation by asking up front after you introduce yourself. So, hey, what's up? I'm John, I want to meet you. What's your name? What are you up to right now? That's always the next question I ask in daytime game. And the reason for that is you want to determine her logistical situation so that you know what you're dealing with, okay? Because of most importance, if she's busy right then, you're gonna to have to compress the interaction you can't run some long interaction. Let's say she's late for somewhere or she's on the way to be somewhere and has to be there by a certain time. You don't, you're not gonna have time to do a big long interaction. Okay, so one of the biggest differences is that she's going to be busy, okay? Now, other differences are that you're not gonna be able to escalate as much. It's not as appropriate to be very physical and, and going for makeouts and this and that during the daytime. So that thing is decreased. Isolation, which is a big component in night game when you take her away from her group of friends to a different part of the venue or to the bar or to the smoking section, etc. That's not really a thing either. Okay, if, if a girl's walking in a group, you're not gonna really be able to like take her away to a different area. Like let's say you meet her outside in a park, they're not gonna be like, hey, I'll bring your friend right back and go bring her all you know, in a shady, creepy way over by like a tree or a, a rock or something like this. So those things go down in utility. Uh, there's also going to be much more downtime in between interactions, in between sets. Okay, so whereas in night game, as soon as you finish one interaction, boom, you're on to the next one. Boom, you're on to the next one. There's really no downtime in between sets, in between interactions. But during daytime game, you could be walking along the street, attractive girl, hello, blah, blah, you have your interaction. Now you might not see another attractive girl for like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so the reason why I've always preferred online game and nighttime game at bars and clubs over daytime game is that just the hit rate is, is faster. Okay, you're gonna be getting matches quicker online. You're gonna be getting phone numbers very quickly in bars and nightclubs. I'm typically shooting for 10 to 15, sometimes even a little more on a given night game session out. Um, whereas with day game, you're only be getting like one or two decent phone numbers an hour. Okay, give or take, depending on where you are and this and that. So I've always formally recommended um, you know, for my own count personally, out of the 1,369 girls, about the first 400 were largely night game. I used to think online game was cheating. I didn't like the, a good looking guy I could go on Tinder and just get a bunch of results without having to put in any strategy or effort. Okay, but later I came over, you know, to start using online and realized at the end of the day, it's just about banging hot chicks. Okay, and a lot of the hot chicks that you would see on Tinder, Bumble, or Hinge are also gonna be at the bars and clubs or walking around during the daytime. Okay, so it doesn't matter what your lead source is, but given those things that I talked about in the beginning, you're going to want to plan accordingly. Okay, so my formal recommendation is to do about 30 minutes of online game per day. So you're gonna be using the apps, doing your swiping about 30 minutes a day, and you can have calendar reminders or alarm clocks to remind you to, to regularly do those things. And then you're going to have uh, your night game nights out. So that should be at least Friday, Saturday at a minimum. And based on pandemic situations, you're gonna find out what's open and what time does it close. And then you're gonna 
go out a little bit earlier and adjust accordingly if the venues are closing a little bit earlier. For a daytime game, I, I encourage students not to go do multi-hour sessions devoted towards daytime pickup, but instead just approach any attractive girl you see during the daytime. Okay, whether she's out and about walking on the street, in the grocery store, at the mall, at the gym, whenever you're going around doing other stuff that you do in your day-to-day -day life, you should always approach every attractive girl you see during the daytime following the three-second rule. Okay? I just wanted to go over the pros and cons. Day daytime interactions are going to be a lot shorter. A lot of times the girl's going to be busy. She's going to be a lot more like startled and, and taken aback that a random stranger is walking up to her during the day. So you're going to get a lot more like quicker blow-offs. Whereas in a night game situation, the girl is expecting to be approached. The girl is expecting to be hit on. When she goes to a bar or club, it's not going to be alarming or startling that a stranger comes up and talks to her. But if she's walking out during the daytime, especially if she's distracted with headphones or on her phone or like just generally like, you know, zoning out, not paying attention, and a stranger comes up and wants to talk to her, then that could startle her, it could scare her, she could think you're selling something, she could think it's weird. So whenever I approach her in the daytime, if they're startled or taken aback or shocked or whatever, I just acknowledge those things. I say, hey, you know, not to, not to you know, startle you, not to scare you, haha, I just want to meet you real quick, what's your name? I know it's weird to be talking to people during the day, but you don't know, what's your name, I want to meet you, okay? So, kind of to sum up, the reason why I think day game is not as good, okay, is because there are less sets for the, for the time that you're putting in. If you're going to walk around the streets or walk around and to do day game, there's gonna be less interactions than you would encounter in a nightclub, that's number one. Number two, you can't do a lot of the cool shit that you can do in night game. Like escalation isn't, isn't as much of a thing. You can still escalate in some cases, but it's not gonna be as much of a normal thing. And you can't be doing it in such a hardcore way. You're not gonna be like holding on to her you know, when you just met, that's gonna be out of place during the daytime, whereas it's totally appropriate in the night game setting, okay? She's also gonna be busy a lot of times, so you're gonna have to compress the interaction and make the interaction happen quicker. And she's going to be like startled or scared or otherwise shocked that a stranger is talking to her. So you're gonna have to deal with those things in turn as well, okay? So my formal recommendation is to just stick largely to online and night and then supplement with daytime game as you run into attractive girls when you're out about doing other things, okay? But I talk to guys all the time on the phone that are just strict day game guys, and the result rate isn't that great. They're, they're putting a whole bunch of time into walking around the streets, walking around in public in random places, and the return on that is not very high. The return on investment, ROI, is fairly low, okay? Even, even like really good day gamers I know that go out and do multi-hour sessions, a lot of them have admitted they only get about one good phone number an hour, which is just a very low hit rate, okay? You can have virtual assistant teams running your online, and you're not even spending any time towards it. Okay, you can go out to a bar or club, have quick five minute interactions a whole bunch of times, get 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 phone numbers. And then that's all opportunities for dates. Okay, those are all leads for dates. So uh, don't put too much emphasis on day game. I'm one of the only coaches that says it's probably the worst lead source. Okay, that doesn't mean you should never do it. Just don't go devote multiple hours to doing day game sessions because it's largely a waste, for the waste of time and the bang for the buck is not there. Okay, but I will acknowledge that during the pandemic, day game has gone up in utility, okay, because most people are not going to bars and clubs, and night game has gone down in utility because venues are closed. Some, in some cases, they're closing earlier. People are kept in segregated groups, which makes it harder since you're not all inter intermingling in, in one big group, in one big sea of people. Instead, you have to like infiltrate a whole group of people that's in separation. So, so that makes night game go down in utility overall. The day game has gone up in utility overall because girls will still stop and talk to you with masks on and people, plenty of people are still out and about during the daytime, okay? So during the pandemic, a lot of my closes have come from daytime game actually and from online, okay? But kind of like across my whole count, the first 400 were largely night game. And I, by the way, I think night game is the most pure form of game. It's going to allow you to hone in your calibration, which is how you react to positive and negative reactions. It's going to allow you to hone in just your experience, having conversations and running verbals in general. It's going to allow you to hone in on your vibing and on your escalation. And all these things are going to you know, pay dividends when you go on dates or when you hang out with rotation girls, when the girl's back at your house. So make sure you're at least putting in the hours to night game. Day game, take with a grain of salt. Still do the approaches with the attractive girls if you happen to see them out and about when you're doing other stuff, okay? If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below. Notification bell for new videos every single day. And it was great discussing these differences, but if you wanna learn the full system from A to Z, jump on a free 30 minute call with me personally and I'll show you how I can take you from whatever level you're at to a very advanced elite level very quickly. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.
Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum